Okay, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. It's fun to win. It's fun to win uh, when you don't have a lot of drama at the end. Uh, it just seems like we've had so many dramatic finishes over the last couple of years. I'm just glad we had one where we just finished. And I'm really proud of I'm going to first start off with the, uh, the fans. The dog walk was unbelievable. The students were where we asked them to be during pre-game warm-up. Uh, the fans wore red. Uh, they just, uh, they are there for us. They caused some timeouts. They caused some issues for their communication. I think we probably got a sack or two because they're lined up. We're getting off the ball late. So, thumbs up to our fan base. Cup fan, cheerleaders, everybody, everybody who supports us, the families of our players, a lot of, a lot of support. And, uh, that's always true, win or lose. But uh, it's it's more fun for everybody when you win. Uh, very proud of our coaching staff. Um, I, I know everybody works hard across America. But, um, I can't. I doubt they worked any harder than our, than our coaches did. And did a great job of preparing our guys. And I thought, you know, our off-season conditioning program came through. Um, I think that um, our special teams coaches did a beautiful job. Uh, just for the offense and defense. I think I'm just really excited about this staff. Uh, they're very demanding. There were some days out there in practice. Uh, I just didn't know what we had. But today, the leadership rose to the occasion. The, Everybody were everybody was uh, very good teammates and, and pulled together. Just really proud of everyone. Mark, just first of all, just talk about that those second half defensive adjustments and what uh, right. they were under doing to Jeremy right well, now. Well, I think the biggest thing we did was take a little pressure off our cornerbacks. We, we had a lot of man coverage in the first half, and they just launched a couple bombs on us, and got some big plays, and uh, grabbed momentum that way. And not to say they didn't execute in some other areas, but that was the biggest problem we had in the first half and the biggest adjustment we made was just you know change up some coverages where we put as much pressure on them and really challenged our D line, linebacking core, our front seven to to you know take care of the run game and pressure the quarterback without having to play a lot of man coverage behind it. So it worked out well. Mark y'all are rotating tailbacks a little more the first half, the second half really like Todd just really got cranked up and Yeah, you know we wanted to we wanted to keep everybody fresh and uh, I don't know if you noticed defensively, we, we did a lot of stuff, a lot of linebacker substitution, DB substitution, D-line substitution, all the way across the board. We, we knew that, I, we, we really felt like our team was in good condition, but fatigue will make a coward out of you, and, and if you don't, uh, I don't, if you did, if we didn't sub, I don't think we'd have been as fresh at the end of the game. And, uh, with our backs, um, knowing that we had, we had really five quality tailbacks. And,